We begin tonight with breaking news. Horror at Wrigley Field after a fan jumps on the field and ends up face down. Good evening, I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Erica Sargent. That fan had to be carted away. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross live outside of Wrigley Field with an update for us. Jeremy. Good evening, Rob. Good evening, Erica. A huge gasp heard across the ballpark. That is how some are describing this evening's incident. Want to show you some cell phone video that was shot earlier this evening. You could see after a fan apparently jumped from the bleachers to the warning track below. According to MLB.com, that bleacher wall is about 11 and a half feet tall, and there is a basket fixed along the top to catch balls, or in this case, fans. In a statement, the Cubs say prior to tonight's game, that man bypassed both structures trying to jump onto the field. The fan was motionless after laying in right center field. Personnel rushed towards him, checked his pulse, put a brace on him to stabilize injuries, and then carted him off. A producer from 670 The Score was there and said he has never seen anything like this. A lot of people in shock? There were a lot of people in shock, yeah, absolutely. Everyone was trying to look around. Not, I don't think too many people saw it live, so not quite anyone was a aware of what exactly happened. There is a little bit of a divot if you look in the um, the fence itself, where if he did fall over, you could probably see where it might have happened. There's just a little bit, if you look at that yellow line, there's a little bit of a dip, um, assuming that he went over there, but um, that's assuming he went over the top. And the Cubs are telling us that man was taken to Illinois Masonic Medical Center, but have no update on his current condition. Also no word if alcohol played a role in this incident. Live outside of Wrigley Field, Jeremy Ross, CBS2 News. Rob, Erica. All right, Jeremy, thank you.